Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Zosha. I'm an independent musician and a freelance graphic designer. And in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on how to use gradient maps in Photoshop. This is one of my favorite trends right now and it's super easy to do. So without further ado, let's get into Photoshop. So I brought my photo into Photoshop and I've turned it into a smart object by right clicking and convert to smart object. The first thing I'm gonna do is add a gradient map layer by going down to my adjustment layers and adding gradient map. I'm gonna double click into this gradient here. And gradients work by changing the color of the pixel based on its brightness. So on the left side of this gradient, we have the darker pixels and on the right side, we have the lighter pixels. There are a bunch of preset gradients you can use. I'm going to use one that I've made before down here. If you create a gradient that you like and want to save for later, you can just hit new. So to give your gradient a thermal heat map kind of look, it helps to have some vibrant colors like this. I'll show you my color codes in case you want to use the same gradient. So I have this very dark blue, uh, vibrant blue, this bright red, and then a lighter orange color. And you can add as many colors as you want just by clicking along the gradient and then changing the color in here. Let's remove those by just pulling them off of the gradient. And then you can move the colors around on the gradient to adjust how it looks. Okay, I actually want to remove the background from this photo, so I'm going to click on the photo and with my magic wand hit select subject. And it's almost perfect, but I'm going to select and mask just so I can add in this hair up here. And that is good enough for what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to hit uh, mask down here. There are a few different ways to adjust the gradient to get different looks. The first was to change the gradient layer by clicking into this gradient and adjusting there. You can also add a levels layer between the photo and the gradient map. Um, so you click adjustment layer, levels, and you can adjust your levels here. You can also adjust using a curves layer. So adjustment layer and add curves. By using the curves, you can get a more creative, unnatural, dramatic look. In the curves map, you have the darker pixels to the left, lighter pixels to the right, and then you can make all of those pixels lighter or darker. So I want to bring up some of the dark pixels really high. So I'm going to click twice on the line to hold those in place and then pull up some of these darker pixels really high. And so you get this like very like interesting, unnatural look, which I really like. And let's see. Um, so yeah, you can play around with changing the curves and then even use the levels too to give it a different look. So in this situation, I don't want this pink line around my head. So I'm gonna go to the curves layer and click on its mask and then take a brush that's totally black and no hardness and I'm gonna and just paint it off here. A little bit more back. Cool, I like how that's looking. So with this look, I usually add some textures and if you wanna learn how to make your own, you can watch my video about how to create your own textures. I'm gonna add this paper texture, which is one of the ones I created and you can use in the link below. And then I'm also gonna add a layer of noise by hitting new layer, grabbing a gray, and then changing the blend to overlay, converting to smart object. And I'm just gonna add a simple noise by going to filter, noise, add noise. And let's see, that seems like a good amount. Okay. So there you have one way of using gradient maps. Now I'm gonna show you how you can use the same technique using text. So I will remove these photo layers and add a new layer with some white text. I 
have it underneath the gradient map, so that's why it's looking orange. All right, I'm gonna rasterize it by right-clicking and rasterize. One simple technique you can use is grabbing the smudge tool over here. And if you just kind of shake the letters, they begin to blur. But you get a more interesting customized blur by doing it this way. And then you begin to see other colors of the gradient. So now we can try getting more dramatic with the smudging. Okay, and then of course I'm going to add a curves layer. And let's see what we can do with this. One thing to note, if you wanna remove any spots on your curves map, just click on it and delete. You can also hit this arrow here to Hit it twice and you go back to the original. Okay, I could keep playing around with this for hours, but I need to stop. So I'll show you the original with the gradient map and here with the curves. Super cool. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning about gradient maps. Let me know what other techniques you'd like to learn by leaving a comment below, and I'll see you in the next video.